Okay, cool, cool. Good luck, good luck, have fun. The Pawn March of Doom. <laughs> uh, yoink. Jeez. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> First time playing against this procedure. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn, and the queen's still blocked there too. Hmm. Well, I gotta take something with me, I guess. <laughs> damn, feels bad. Death by a million pawn moves. Yeah, it's shocking, shockingly effective. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. Yeah, that opening is probably very effective for this elo, I imagine. I'm snoozing the ads as much as I can here. Bear with me.
Oh, damn it. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, fudge. Ah, oh, shite. Hmm. No. A beautiful pawn. No, nah, GG, man. But uh, yeah, no, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Let's do a quick game review. It's almost midnight for me. Looks like I made a blunder here that kind of gave you the advantage. Uh, yeah, my light square bishop was just uh, having a really hard time there. Wow, all your pawn moves were just awesome moves, huh? <laughs> I've been having a hard time with... Um, Pawn e5 when playing the Karokan. Um, yeah, okay, so h7, so I give my bishop a little cubby hole here. Okay, that's good to know. So that was a blunder. Huh. Looked like I was onto the right idea considering. Um, how bad that went for me at the start there. <laughs> Minus that blunder. <laughs> Play c5 against e5. But that's not really the Karo Khan at that point then, right? Oh, play c5 against e5. Wait. Oh, I see. I see. So you trade off the pawns or whatever. So let me see if I understand that correctly. So if you push... I can push here. C5. Hmm. What does that accomplish though? Hmm. And then E6. I see. Okay. C5 against E5. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay, good to know. Yeah, at this ELO, um, I never really see players pushing their pawns so hard just to attack one piece. But uh, obviously, Chad's got some experience, so he could kind of recognize that this bishop was going to be trapped on this diagonal. So cool, cool. Hmm. A bishop li bishopless game. <laughs> I did notice c5 right after I made this queen move. I was uh, I I noticed that um, for example, that would have been a trade. And then um, even if let me go back here, even if I were to push up and you didn't take, you'd probably have to add another defender or something, or maybe attack the queen this way or something like that. But even then, that wins a pawn. Um, but I was thinking if... I don't like how it does these line thingies. Eh, whatever. I figured I could just uh, take this pawn. Only your queen was protecting it, and I was protecting d4 there. But anyways. So made that move one, move too late. A bit of a bummer. Yeah, I should have recognized this. This was a mistake on my part. Um, should have just pushed this pawn up, right? What would have been the harm in doing this? Wouldn't that wouldn't that have been better? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, should should have recognized that 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 was a problem. Oh, attack the queen. Yeah, should have attacked the queen there. Man, I really didn't want to trade off. I was really hoping I could get my queen onto your back rank and do some damage or something um, eventually, but yeah, just never happened. 
I thought we had a pretty nice little back and forth kind of through the mid game. I, I regret not supporting this pawn earlier. I, I was hoping my king could kind of run out and support this pawn, but your knight got there before before I could. Hmm. Rook c2 didn't really make any sense because he just had the pawn anyway, so... Yeah, I tried to go after your pawn chain. You spotted that. I figured my best hope was just going to be to try to run this pawn up the board. Hmm. Basically just pushed the wrong pawn here. And then you had the free pawn. Did give me a knight, though. Ah, blunder. Darn. 